Hey y'all, so tonight we made a 30 minute one pan meal. This is Marry Me Chicken and Orzo done in the skillet, like I said, less than half an hour, easy peasy. Now, I don't know if y'all have ever bought this pre cube chicken. I shop at Food Line a lot and they have it. It was $6 for a pound and a quarter of already cut up chicken breast. And I was willing to pay the $6 because it saved me a ton of time. So, anyway, get it in the pan with some butter and olive oil and salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and let it cook until the chicken is brown, and then go ahead and pull that out. Don't worry about if some of the bigger pieces still need to cook a little bit. It's going back in the pot, so it will be fine. Um, a half of a diced onion, some chopped minced garlic, and then some julienned sun-dried tomatoes. And get those in the pan and let them cook until the onions start to get translucent and have softened up a little bit. It doesn't take very long, uh, five minutes maybe, if that. And then once those onions have started to soften up, go ahead and deglaze your can, 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 pan, and get all of that good yummy stuff up off the bottom because that's where all your flavor is. If you don't have white wine, that's fine. Use chicken stock. I just always have some white wine stuck to the side. And then add half of a bag of orzo. I don't know what the weight of a full bag is, so that's why I'm just telling you a half a bag. Add that to your pan. And then I used about a cup and a half of chicken stock. But I added the chicken stock gradually. So... I have the orzo and everything in the pan. I put the chicken stock in until it just starts to cover it. And the orzo kind of starts soaking up that chicken stock. And it starts to get creamy on its own. So just add stock a little bit more at a time as you need it. And I also added more salt, more pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. I felt like it just needed a little more kick up. And did I tell you to add a heaping teaspoon of Dijon mustard? Yeah, you want to do that too. I think I left that out. I don't know. I'm having a hard time today, y'all. <laughs> and then we added some baby spinach to it. And let that cook until the pasta starts to get soft. Once your pasta is al dente, then it's time to go ahead and add your cream, freshly grated Parmesan, and some chopped basil. Y'all have no idea what a hard time I've had doing this voiceover. Ah! Oh! Anyway, get your chicken back in your pan and cook it until the pasta the orzo is done and that's it you're finished i have stumbled all the way through this i have just made a mess <laughs> thanks y'all for hanging in there with me give this one a try it's really good i think you'll like it have a good night